This week we're going to learn about Emily Carr. She was a Canadian painter. Who is Emily Carr? She was born December 13, 1871 in Canada. She died March 2, 1945 at the age of 73 in Canada. She never got married or had children. She loved the outdoors and animals. She was a post-impressionist painter. So what exactly is a post-impressionist? Post-impressionist is an art form that came after Impressionism. Artists like Emily Carr like to paint with their emotions rather than what they actually saw. Emily sat in the forest near her home and painted the trees. If you guys remember the artist Claude Monet, um, we studied him a while back and he liked to paint water lilies and other landscape scenes that he studied right in his own backyard. Monet was considered an impressionist artist. He would paint the same scene over and over at different times of the day in order to show his viewers exactly what it looked like at that time. So now I'm going to show you guys the difference between a post-impressionist and an impressionist painter. Um, post-impressionism, like Emily Carr, um, painted real life subject matter but not always nature and most of the time an impressionist artist like Claude Monet painted real life subject matter but most of the time it was nature. Um, Post-impressionism is not as much real, it's not very realistic and um, an impressionist is they try to make their paintings look very realistic, like Monet. Post-impressionism, like Emily Carr, uses very thick brush strokes with heavy paint. Impressionism, like Monet, um, used small, thin brush strokes, but it still was heavy paint. Um, they both show movement in their painting. So, like, if the wind is blowing that day, they're going to make it look like the wind is blowing in their painting also. Um, they use bright colors, um, but in post-impressionism, the bright colors may not look exactly like what it looks like, you know, out that day. So, like, let's say um, it's a blue sky, and you don't see any clouds at all. They may put some clouds in there and maybe make their clouds look, I don't know, darker blue and maybe a black sky if they're feeling maybe sad. And um, whereas an uh, impressionist painter wouldn't, they would paint exactly what they're seeing. Their colors would match the scenery. The post-impressionist painter, like Emily Carr, used more geometric shapes, such as triangles and squares, to form their subject. And um, the they would show more what they're feeling in their painting. And um, Monet, an impression, whereas he was an impressionist painter, he would show more what he was seeing in his painting at that moment. So here's some differences in their um, actual paintings. Um, Emily Carr's paintings are on the, on the left hand side and you can see like the top of her trees are like triangles and cone shaped. And then Monet's paintings you can see that the top painting shows that it was brighter out that time of the day. Um, his lilies are, are nice and bright, and you can see the greenery, and then um, the sun, it was like overcast um, when he painted the bottom picture. Um, the sun was behind the clouds, so you could see it on the pond. So 
So today, our project, we're going to make a collage, and you can go outside and um, look in your yard or paint what you see. So some of the supplies you'll need is paper, white or colored construction, maybe tissue paper or coffee filters for your treetops, um, some paint, any colors you choose for your natural setting, paint brushes, um, a sponge. I didn't use any paint brushes for mine. I only used a sponge and some markers. But if you want to use some paint brushes, brushes that's fine. Um, like I said, a sponge, glue stick, scissors, markers. You can choose to make your painting however you like. These are suggested items and possible ways to make your collage. Here are some steps to complete your own masterpiece. Determine the colors of paint for your background. What does the sky look like? If there are trees, what color is the sky behind the trees? What does the ground look like? Is it darker or lighter than the sky? Paint your background using a sponge. Combine colors to show darker and lighter colors. Remember the top, middle, and bottom. What are the differences in color? How does it make you feel? Happy? Sad? Excited? Does it make you want to run, jump, and play, or take a rest? What are the differences in landscape? Try to either paint, draw, or cut the shapes out with the supplies you have gathered. You paint. Once your paint is dry, glue everything onto your main paper where you determined the color of the top, middle, and bottom. Add your final touches. Do you see the sun? How about clouds? Tree trunks? A pond or creek? Animals? Paint or color whatever you see, and most importantly, feel. Have fun making your own post-impressionist painting. Bye!